All right, today I'm going to take you on a walk which I did a few months ago near Mount Summers, which is about 110 kilometers away from Christchurch. I did the south face track, which is the south facing side of Mount Summers. Very easy track for you to find. It's um, recommended by DOC, which is the Department of Conservation. So um, they have made sure that it's very easy for you to find and, and follow along. Um, there's good signage system so that you won't be lost and they let you know how long the track's going to take you. We're going to come back to this river in a little bit after the walk um, and I'll show you, show you some reactions to how cold the water was when I get back. So stick around to the end. So I've started my walk here. Um, down on the left was the roads that I came from. Looks very, very far, but at the same time, it is not that hard. This is about the time I was breaking out to these amazing views of the mountains and the valley below. And that's um, the best thing about New Zealand is these mountains. I just cannot get over it. Every chance I get, I try and go for a hike and just refreshes my mind. It's just amazing. There's just no words for it. As you can see, the wind is quite strong. It's trying to blow the hat off my head. Uh, so you've got to be careful. Um, I always recommend a windbreaker jacket that will keep the wind away from you. They're quite chilly winds too. Even though the walking uphill does tend to make you quite hot and sweaty by the end of it. And always the moment that you break into the snow line is always one of the best moments. Uh, you feel like you've earned the, the right to be up here on the snow line, especially um, in seasons that are not winter um, you have to do a bit of work to get to the snow line so it's always a memorable uh, moment to break into the snow line it looks freezing but it's not as cold once again like i said you have been walking up the hill so in fact it is quite refreshing to see um, snow all around you and it's not at all hot so i'm going to be exploring a bit of the ridge and the, the along the ledges here being very aware that I have to be careful here because there are sharp rocks and it's cold and you don't want to get bruised in the cold up here. And I was holding the camera as well so you just have to be very careful. The snow can make it a little bit slippery too. So you have to watch where you put your foot. Um, wearing the appropriate footwear shoes is very important. Like I said here, I'm being very careful. I don't want to slip and fall down that hill. Look at that drop there. It is crazy. Once you go down there, you're not going to find a way back up. As usual, you have to get your Instagram posts on the vertical format. In fact, I find it funny because um, I always end up taking more footage on my phone than on my proper cameras. And I'm finding that I'm depending way more on my phone cameras than... Um, proper cameras like this one I have got. I'm using a DJI uh, Mini. Um, very helpful when you want to walk and shoot like this and they're very... DJI makes very um, good gimbal systems so it keeps um, the shots very um, stabilized as well. So having a camera like this helps when you're doing a walk by yourself because you can get footage like this. Uh, you place the camera somewhere safe and you go for a walk around. Pretend like the camera is not there. Pretending like you don't know that you're being filmed. And yeah, look at that view. It's just amazing. I don't think I can ever get over it. Um, yeah, it's just, I, just, I just love it. It just reminds me that I'm truly fortunate to be living here and just be able to drive one day to the mountains, climb a mountain, you know, clear my head, give myself a new perspective and just spend a day like this. So once again, I'm back down below the tree line um, and I found this little stream and I thought I would refill my water bottle. And so the water's fresh from the snow, so it's pure, it's clean and i don't know i think it's safe to drink straight off the stream so that's what i'm doing here but the water is freezing it is so cold and here's me filling up my bottle uh, it's giving gollum i'm um, trying to catch a fish on the on the river bank but you yeah, have very cold icy cold water and the sound of the river in the forest is really refreshing and it's amazing 
so I'm gonna go down to that river um, to that spot down there and I'm taking this picture from the bridge which you will see right behind me here um, that's the bridge that leads into the walk and so um, this is just a few few meters away from the bridge um, but I just wanted to take a breather I think I had brought some food here and I would chill out and relax for a bit uh, just enjoy the moment after having done that decent walk up the hill um, it was not not it's, it's nothing taxing it's it's beginner level it's very easy easy to do and if you want to do it I think anyone can do it um, just have to make sure you're wearing um, good shoes um, things shoes that are not slippery shoes that have um, support for your ankle and stuff like that and here's me cleaning out my shoes with all the mud left over from the mountain um, I got these shoes from Canada a few years ago and I love I love it I love that I have proper walking shoes and every chance I get to wear it to go to the mountains I, I wear it and yeah it's some, something having something like that really helps and here's me once again giving Gollum um, refreshing myself um, cleaning my hair my face so I, I, I decided to take my shoes off um, go into the water but I could not last five seconds in there it was so cold and you know the kind of cold that makes you feel like you're about to die you just like you, your body feels like it's about to fold in half and break apart um, so that sounds dramatic but that's how cold it was so here's me uh, trying to um, trying to come back to life after that five second dip in the water but yeah what a great trip great thing about New Zealand you can do stuff like this and it's so easy it's just it's just in your backyard if you especially if you live in Christchurch there's no excuse for you to not be doing stuff like this so that's me thanks for watching <laughs>